If you are trying to learn how to make really, really fun glitter pens without epoxy or UV resin because you don't want to deal with all of those toxic things, this video is for you. I'm going to walk you through each step, all the supplies that you need of making pens with Crystalax Grand Finale. These are super, super fun accessories. They're good standalone. You can match them with keychains and tumblers, all using the same supplies. So if you're ready to learn exactly how to make these pens, hit subscribe and let's get started. The first thing you need to do is prep your pens. There are basically two kinds of pens that you're gonna see people use. The Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel Pen, because you can take it apart and replace and refill the ink when it runs out. They're really accessible. You can get them at Walmart or Target or online, although the prices have gone up over the past few years. You wanna make sure that you save all of the inside pieces, put them in a mug or a cup so you can, you know, don't lose them. I'm using some side cutters to clip the clip off of the end because you want it to have a smooth surface and this is the best way to do it. This is a stainless steel pen from Craft Haven. It looks a little bit different on the inside, but ultimately it's the same. You're gonna have to unscrew the top and you've got two springs, this white piece and the inside. So again, make sure you don't lose them when you're working on your pens. To prep each one, you're going to sand. You're gonna do the same process for both pens. Sand it down so you have a good surface to work with and then apply your base coat. The color you choose will depend on your glitter. So just choose a color that matches the glitter that you're going to add. Let your base coat dry and then you're ready to move on to the glittering phase. I am going to apply glitter with the Grand Finale. You can use Bright Tone if that's what you have, or you can use the glitter glue, whatever you prefer. I like to brush on my Bright Tone and then apply glitter. Again, you wanna choose a base color that is similar and apply your glitter right to that wet Grand Finale. And it does make kind of a mess because the pens are so small. So you wanna make sure that you're catching all of your extra glitter underneath it with any sort of piece of paper, and then you can clean it up when you are done. I really like the coverage I get from brushing on the Grand Finale. Grand Finale only needs two hours to dry, so let that dry, and then you can move on to seal your glitter. For the sealing process, you need the Crystalac glitter glue, so dry brush any excess glitter, and then brush on the glitter glue. I'm using a blush brush from the Crystalac company as well. I have a lot of videos on the supplies that I use, so I will link that in the top right corner, but just brush on your glitter glue, and then I always put it on my cup turner to spin. I have an adapter for my cup turner and I let that spin for it to dry. After that two hour dry time, you can flatten it with paper. I'm using literal just copy paper or you can use parchment paper to make sure it's nice and flat. And then you're gonna go through and add your grand finale so you can get that smooth surface. You can either use your hand or a brush, but it's definitely easier to have your pen attached to something. In this case, it is a rod for my adapter and you're going to apply your coats of Grand Finale. You're gonna do three or four coats of Grand Finale, letting each coat dry for two hours. You don't have to put your pens on a cup turner. You can have them sit just like this, um, but you would need to make sure that you're not getting any pooling on the bottom and you may need to add some like painter's tape to hold them steady because not every pen is sort of the same size, but I like to attach it to my turner so it can level out really, really easily. This comes off whichever way you wanna do it. So I like to use this adapter and have them spin, but again, you don't have to. You have a few coats of Grand Finale on your pens, it is time to sand. I'm using this 220 grit sanding block and I'm just going to sand it down and clean it and continue on with my coats of Grand Finale. I'm gonna keep doing that process until I have a smooth, shiny surface. Once your pen is completely smooth, you can apply any vinyl or decals or even water slides to spice up your pens. If you want to learn more about using Crystal X Grand Finale on tumblers and other crafts, make sure you watch the video on your screen where I break down everything that you need to know.